Hello all. So we're going to be looking at the filter section in Alchemy and seeing what that does. So I've got the uh, the spectrum analyzer open and I'm going to be working with the filter section over here. So as default when the filter section is switched on, you can see it lights up. Um, we have the LP 12 dB smooth filter. So what the LP stands for is a low pass filter, which means it's going to let low frequencies pass whilst at the same time removing high frequencies. So I'm going to be working with a sawtooth wave because it has lots of harmonics and partials, so it will make the effects of the filter seem more obvious and understandable hopefully right so let's have a just remind ourselves what a sawtooth looks and sounds like okay so the first control in the low pass filter we're going to look at is the cutoff so what this does is it decides the frequency at which uh harmonics are going to be removed so at the moment um, it's fully open 20,000 hertz which is you know the highest frequency any humans are pos could possibly hear okay so as I bring this control down watch what happens over here in the oscillus the spectrum analyzer So when we bring it right the way down, we can, we're pretty much taking it down just to the last harmonic fundamental. So let's open it up. You'll see a lot more high frequencies are added to the sound. You should see that and hear it. Okay, so the low pass filter allows low frequencies to pass through whilst removing higher frequencies. So the, uh, the res control, which stands for resonance, okay, what this does is it adds a peak at the cutoff point. So what in, in kind of musical terms, it makes the filtering a lot more obvious. Um, so let's, let's have a look. I'm going to turn this right the way up so you can really see what it's actually doing. So you can see this big peak right at the high frequencies and then as a sweep through you'll really really hear it and it will it'll make quite a nasty sound because it's turned right the way up okay so you can hear when it's around certain frequencies, you know, 5, 6K, those kind of really harsh frequencies, it's actually quite painful because it's turned all the way up, but it can be used in a lot more subtle way. Okay, and then the final control we have is drive control. Okay, so this adds overdrive at the filter stage. So when we're working with subtractive synthesizers, um, you basically start with these big chunks of sound, um, whether they be a sawtooth, square wave, etc. And then we carve away at it. What we might find sometimes is we want to just add a little bit back in. Okay, so when we're using the filter, so we can just use the drive to do that. So let's have a listen to, to what that does. <laughs> So you can just hear it's increasing the gain. Okay, so going back to where we started, we've got a low pass 12 dB smooth filter. Okay, there are loads of different filters in Alchemy. Um, so this one's 12 dB. Okay, and this refers to how sharply um, it cuts off frequencies so just as an absolute contrast 12 db is is quite gentle okay we'll go for 60 db and see the difference 
So I'm just going to set the, the cutoff at around 12 o'clock. So let's hear what it sounds like. In fact, we'll just hear what it sounds like at 12 o'clock with the smooth filter. And then if we change it to the 60 dB smooth filter, you can see that the frequencies roll off at a much higher rate, okay? And you'll see this repeated in EQs with high and low pass filters as well. So it's a useful thing for all round audio engineering. Okay, so we've got our low pass filters, which just repeat, let low frequencies pass and cut high frequencies. Okay, we're going to um, change to a high pass filter, which essentially does the opposite. Okay, so if we have the cutoff as low as it will go, it will let the full sound through. And as I increase the cutoff, what you'll see is that high frequencies are allowed to pass and low frequencies are cut. Okay, and again, got resonance. Okay, and we have drive, and they're doing exactly the same things that they do with the low pass filter. Okay, and then the final type of filter we're going to look at, although there are all these other things you can insert, essentially effects, um, most, mostly at the filter stage. We're just going to focus on the three kind of key filters. Okay, so we've got what's called a bandpass filter. So what this does is it just lets a, a certain band of frequencies through. So it will, it will remove some high and some low, and you'll see it just focus on a certain given frequency. So just turn the, the resonance and the drive down, and let's see what happens. Because it's only a 6 dB curve, it's very gentle, but we do have the option to do 12 dB. So you can no see it's a bit more kind of noticeable in here. It's a bit more noticeable there. And then we can turn up the drive. Okay. Um, just to point out as well that we've got all these different filters and they're all, a lot of them are based off classic kind of hardware um, there's no information about exactly what they they model but um, yeah you can probably if you do a bit of research kind of guess that the MG is based off a of Moog um, XP is off famous kind of Roland synth etc etc okay so worth experimenting and just flicking through some of them and seeing what you like when you're making your own sounds all right, thank you for listening.